How far can I get in Pokemon Brick Bronze in only one sitting? If you like this content, be sure to subscribe. It would be my dream to hit a thousand subscribers in the next few months. And also, be sure to watch to the end to see how far I can get in this one video. Ooh, I'm tired. It's like 6 a.m. No, it's not. It's 9 a.m. Not apparently 9 a.m. is early for me. Anyways, we're back for another video in Pokemon Brick Bronze. Nothing to say in this intro, so let's just get straight into it. So I have just beaten the seventh gym, and I know, I know I have not made a video about that yet. And it turns out that while recording the video, I forgot to turn on my mic, and the default audio device went to my webcam. And you all know how the webcam has a funny mic. Boom! We did it! Oh yeah, we did it. But still, I'll narrate over it again, and I will tell you everything that happened. Okay, so we're excusing the grunts from the gym, so let's just go straight to the gym leader. The first attempt at the gym leader, it wasn't so good. Uh, I failed. I failed badly. I failed terribly. Everything went wrong. I couldn't even get past this, this, the last crocodile. It was a terrible, terrible situation. So after my honestly really bad loss, in my opinion, because that's an easy gym, I went back to the Pokemon Center, got a few potions, and tried my hand at it one last time. The next attempt, it was looking very good. Everything was looking very good very good for the first half and i'm not saying that like the second half is going to be bad because after that last crocodile it's time to beat the hound doom and i'm gonna be honest with you that hound doom that hound doom was the easiest dark type pokemon i've ever beaten i beat it with not even with the fairy type i brought out swampert to use a few earthquakes and that totally killed it like it was so easy it was unbelievably easy Boom! We did it! Oh yeah, we did it. And I'm pretty sure it's just way too overhyped. It's overrated. I don't even know if that applies, but it is overrated. And fast forward to now, here we are. We've beaten the seventh gym, and it's time to go on and continue our journey to the Crescent Island. I think it would be smart to- I know, I know it's so original, but I think it would be smart to heal our Pokemon. After healing my Pokemon, I made it back to the route entrance and met up with Tess. After meeting up with Tess, she wants to battle. I'm fine with that. I've got a Sylveon. I already know she's a dragon trainer, so this should be no issue. But that's where I'm wrong. There is an issue. I am more than 11 levels under level. That is one level too much. I think I, I'm sure it'll be fine. I'm sure it'll be fine. Let's just see this through and hope that we can somehow pull this off. The first Garchomp was a little bit of an issue, but this is considering Garchomp. In the end, we were able to beat the Garchomp using a Moonblast and a Draining Kiss. The next Salamence was not too much of an issue either. It used one Flamethrower, which barely did any damage. But just for good measure, I used a full restore and finished that off with a Moonblast. The next Hacturus is, um, new nickname, Useless. It used a dragon move against me. I'm a fairy type. You can't beat a fairy type with a dragon move. Get your brains in your brain cell area. Anyways, Sylveon was able to take it out with only two Moonblasts. The next Pokemon is a level 70 Altaria. That looks scary. But Sylveon's Moonblast says otherwise. Well, I can officially say that I have sweeped a dragon team using only one Sylveon. I mean, big surprise there, duh. What's even funnier is the fact that I'm under level. I made it through the route entrance, and check this out. Oh, 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 wait, 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 wait. This is like a hoverboard thing. And I have a hoverboard, look, look. Look, I got myself a Vaporeon hoverboard. This is gonna be fun. Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Oh, oh! Oh, this is hard, this is hard, this is really hard.
25 seconds. I think that's good. I think that's pretty good. After making it through the route exit door, it's time to fight my first trainer. The first Pokemon is a Carbink. Swampert was able to take it out using two Earthquakes. The next Pokemon is another Carbink. Again, Swampert took it out with an Earthquake. The next and final Pokemon is a Sableye. I brought out Sylveon to use one Moonblast and take it out. I have learned from my consequences of not fighting trainers, so let's just fight these trainers and gain some extra levels. Keeping things on the shorter side because my time editing is limited. Basically, in summary, both of the Pokemon committed self-destruct, and that was an easy win for me. The first two Pokemon of this battle are Magikarps, probably the most useless trainer I've ever seen. But then she pulls out the Gyarados, which kind of put up a fight. Nah, they don't. They don't really. Okay, um, I am not going to go out of my way to go back to a Pokemon Center just to heal my Pokemon. So I think I'm going to go back through and whatever happens, happens. Just no more trainers. That's not allowed. After making it through the route entrance, I met up with Tess and Brad. Brad gives us Surf, tells us goodbye in a very referency fashion. Did you see that? That is so cool. That's so perfect. And we are left to get ready for the trip to Crescent Island and battle. After meeting up at the dock, Tess leaves, and I'm left to heal my Pokemon and surf my way there. There they go. All right. They're gone. Oh, goodbye. Oh, they're going fast. They're going... Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Look at us going. Look at us going. Oh, man, we're going fast. We're going... Fast. Watch us go! Woo! I made it to Route 17, and unfortunately, it's time to fight a trainer. How did you see me from all the way over there? Oh, you're really, you're really determined, aren't you? Wow, look at him! Look at him go! Look at him! Look at him! All right, this battle was really easy. Luxray pretty much carried me through the first part, and then Swampert finished it off. Yeah, all in all, it was very easy. All right, we're on our way to the Crescent Island. We finally made it to the Crescent Island. Woo! We did it. We went down. Oh, this does not look... Look at that water. Look at how putrid that water is. It looks like jello. Okay, we have made it. And I am very, very tired. Um, and I think that's where I'm going to end it for the episode. Okay, so I know this episode was definitely on the shorter side. But still, I hope you enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to subscribe. It helps me out a lot, and while you're down there, leave a like. I don't think I'll be uploading any videos for a while, about a week at max, at most, probably nine days at most, actually, to be more precise. I hope you can just stay tuned until I can come back. I swear I, I will not be gone for more than five, no, nine days. With that said, again, I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in nine days. Goodbye!